In the opening ceremony of the 13th Festival of Pacific Arts and Culture, Solomon Islands were represented by Culture and Tourism Minister Choi Lin Douglas, Director of Culture Dennis Marita and a few other delegates. However, the majority of the country's 85 member delegation has yet to arrive in Hawaii. They embarked on their journey last Saturday for Fiji, undergoing a rigorous visa application process to enter the United States. Meanwhile, most Melanesian delegates, include those from Fiji and Papua New Guinea, have already arrived, but New Caledonia and Vanuatu have withdrawn their participation. The Solomon Islands government is investing $3 million for FESPAC, with $2 million allocated for travel expenses alone. Minister Choi Lin Douglas brought traditional gifts for the hosts, including Tafuli Ai shell money and a Tomoko war canoe. The Tafuluai is a traditional shell money from people of the Malaita province of Solomon Island. Its purpose are many. It is used for dowry, compensation, and the most important gift to cement friendships and relationships. Overall, it is a symbol of peace that brings and binds people together to maintain peace and harmony. The presentation of Tomoko. This wooden carving is a model of Tomoko, canoe from the western province of Solomon Islands. This is the vessel that encapsulates our people, our cultures, our history, and our identity, past, present, and future. The Tomoko is the ultimate symbol of unity and progress that brings our people together and towards a shared future and common destiny. Please accept and add these humble offerings from the hearts of our people and government to you, our gracious host, and inviting, for inviting us to, to this extraordinary feast and gathering for our great ocean, Ohana. <laughs> Finally, I would like to join everyone here to wish for a successful and unforgettable 13th Fest Pack. Mahalo Nui and Big Fala, thank you too much. Mahalo, Mahalo Nui, thank you too much. Solomon Islands. We wish to make mention and say Mahalo Nui to the Prime Minister of Solomon Islands, the Honorable Jeremiah Manele. The festival, marked by a vibrant display of culture, began with the Wa'a arrival ceremony, symbolizing unity amongst Pacific nations. Despite the challenge, Dr. Tami Tabe of the University of Hawaii highlights the event's significant meaning for the Pacific, including Solomon Islands. Him allow more Pacific Island countries to also gather in one space together. And if you notice the importance of the festival is him including not other countries where other also territories. We are an independent country, Solomon Islands, but also it includes other countries that are still territories um, and are still sort of under the, the authority of their colonizers. And so like providing this space, uh, him allow different Pacific Islanders from different countries within the region for convene and exchange, have not that exchange in terms of our culture, but also in terms of our understanding of each other and narratives. And I think the Festival of the Pacific Arts provide opportunities for a lot of cultural exchange between other people in the Middle Pacific. And not only in terms of like just dances and performances, but really conversations as well. And I think for this festival, for the first time, Bami Fala hosting um, Protecting Oceania Conference, but also other symposiums 
were about to happen too within the same space um, to also inform and engage scholars, policymakers, students, um, just the local people, indigenous people, um, artists, dancers, elders, young people. So it's going to be, um, but have involved in that, a diversity of people. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also looking forward to what the outcome will be. Um, for. The official opening of the 13th Festival of Pacific Arts and Culture, known as FestPAC, commenced today at 4 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. This 10-day festival is a vibrant celebration aiming to promote cultural exchange amongst Pacific Islanders, emphasizing the significance of preserving and celebrating one's heritage.